Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel, and in this video, I'll show you how to create reinforcing elements like ribs in Autodesk Fusion. I will demonstrate this using a simple example. I want to show you two methods for creating such elements. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. And if you want to support this channel, you will find information in the description of this video on how to do that. For smooth navigation, I use 3D Connection Space Mouse. With discount code Damien CADCAM, you can buy this and other 3D Connection devices with a 10% discount. Details in the description of the video. I will create a new project. When it comes to creating a base part, we can do it in two ways. I will do it in two stages. First, I'll create a rectangle sketch on the XY plane. I am creating a rectangle with dimensions of 50 by 30 millimeters. and close the sketch. Now we will add an extrusion. I select this sketch, press the E key on my keyboard and enter 5 to add an extrusion of 5 millimeters. Now I will create another sketch. I select this face, choose to create a sketch and here I will create another rectangle. I create it in such a way that the first corner of the rectangle is connected to this point. I enter the dimension of 5 millimeters here. To define this dimension, I simply click the left mouse button on this edge. We have created a rectangle. I close the sketch, select this area, press the E key, and enter 30 millimeters as the extrusion length. OK, this is a simple thing to create. Now we will create a rib in the middle of this solid. For this purpose, I need a construction plane, and I will create such a plane between the faces of this solid. Holding the Shift key, I select this face and this face. From the Construct menu, I choose Mid Plane. This way, we have created a construction plane passing through the center of this solid. I click OK, and we have this construction plane. Now, I will create a reference sketch on this construction plane. I choose to create a sketch and draw a line here. OK, for now, we will create it roughly like this. I press escape to finish drawing the line. Now I select the coincident constraint to connect this point to this edge and to connect this point to this edge. I press escape to cancel this constraint. We can leave it like this or we can specify dimensions here. I will leave it like this and close the sketch. The first simple way to create a rib is simply by selecting this area. We choose the extrude command and add an extrusion of a specified value, for example, 5 mm. Here we can also choose to extrude symmetrically from the plane and click this button to specify the total length of a rib. This way, we have something like this. This is a very simple way to create this type of element. Now I press Ctrl Z to undo the extrusion operation. To create ribs, we also have a separate operation from the Create menu. We can select the Rib option. Here we can do it in such a way that we select a profile and then specify the thickness. We will set the thickness, for example, to 5 mm. At this point, this rib has been created in this way. But if we click this Flip Direction button, it will be created like this. We click OK, and we have something like this. When it comes to creating such elements, it doesn't necessarily have to be such a simple line. I will create another construction plane. I select this face, choose Offset Plane here, and we will add a construction plane offset by 5 mm from this face. OK, now I select this construction plane, choose to create a sketch, and here I will create a spline. Something like this. OK? Now I select the coincident constraint and we will connect this point to this edge. We will connect this spline point to this edge. I close the sketch. Here we have something like this and this way, using the extrude operation, we can add an extrusion of this shape. We can also use the rib operation. Here we specify the profile, length and direction in which we want to create such a rib. 
As you can see, creating these types of elements, whether they are decorative, functional, or reinforcing, is very simple. Here the biggest difficulty for beginners might simply be creating a construction plane, but as you can see, creating such construction planes is very easy. We will finish here. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.